Welcome back to the channel. Shiba Inu has been absolutely ripping lately. Everyone's making profits up 150% in a week. Now, if you are up on Shiba, I would consider taking profits. Take profits, scale out of your position, and I do believe it's too late to buy a Shiba. You never wanna chase it. You always wanna wait for a healthy pullback. I do think we are going to pull back and have a healthy run next. Maybe passing these all-time highs, I think we could go get up to that 0001 mark. And if we do, that will put us in the seventh spot for the total market cap of all of crypto. We're passing XRP, Dogecoin, and even Polkadot. In this video, I cover a bunch of price targets, potential spots where you can enter, and how you could potentially even make even more money with Shiba Inu. As always, though, trading is very risky. Investing in Shiba Inu is very risky. Let's go straight to the charts. Look at this crazy move. October 23rd to now. That's four days, almost five. 140% gains. <laughs> That's crazy. I'm not, I'm personally not holding any Shiba. I'm holding XRP though. But whoever's holding Shiba, I hope that you guys absolutely kill it. Remember to take your profits and we're going to find out some price targets, where it could go, and basically what is going to be the future for Shiba. Now, I've already made a video. If Shiba comes up to... 0 0.0001 we will be in the seventh place spot we will pass polka dot and xrp we passed dogecoin literally like 10 minutes ago or something something very very short time frame that i refreshed it and we passed dogecoin so i do think we will see shiba inu continue to rip to this one one hundredth of a penny now if we want to get it to a whole penny we're going to have to do at least like 14,000%, 15,000%. So I don't think it's possible. And if it went to one penny, Shiba Inu would be worth $5 trillion or more than Apple, Amazon, Silver, Bitcoin. So I'm going to be honest with you guys. I don't think we can come up and hit a penny, but I do think we are going to continue to rip. Now, if we use our Fibonacci extensions on the previous run, we can see that. 38.2 now let's go ahead and presume that this is the top if we see another pullback potentially into a consolidation period maybe bounce off the 90 ema we are a little overextended from the 90 ema we could have a price circuit of 00008 and a, or potentially 0004 or nine excuse me now we're shifting to the daily I like that we have increasing in volume here. That's telling me that more buyers are stepping in and that sellers are not jumping in at this point yet. And it's just starting to kick off. And I think over the next few days, we will see Shiba continue to push higher. But always remember, when we get too extended from the 20 EMA, we will always pull back. So a nice pullback that I'm going to be looking for is a, this is the top, maybe back to 00048 or potentially for three, this 50% or 61.8% FIB level that I think we could easily see it up to. And usually how these trends work is we have the first impulse pullback, and then we usually have another pullback maybe down to that 38.2 level, and then one final move. Now, it goes, if that final move could put us at 0001, I would be happy with that. That's another 50% from here. Anything can happen with Shiba, as always. It's very, very popular right now to just buy Shiba. I know plenty of people who put thousands of dollars in here and just don't know what it is. They don't know cryptocurrencies, but they have put in money into Shiba Inu because that's what the big dogs want you to buy. They want you to buy Shiba Inu. They want you to buy Dogecoin. They don't want you to buy QNT, XRP, HBAR, Bitcoin. They want to buy that up. Why do you think uh, Coinbase and Robinhood are Robinhood's going to eventually list it. But why do you think Coinbase picked Shiba instead of VChain, HBAR, VX or VXV? Why? It's because they, they only want you to buy these. Like they have the hype, they get the money, you because from the gas fees, and then they buy more cryptocurrencies that actually have a project. We are now getting decreasing volume on the move higher. It looks like we are going to have a pullback up a couple upper wicks with a bearish reaction. I want to, I want to see us bounce off the 9 EMA or 20 EMA here. I think we'll kind of 
across somewhere in this area. And that'll be around a 10% pullback. The whole market's kind of pulling back hard. q and is pulling back extremely hard, which is unfortunate. But again, we're holding it longer term. This, this is a false move. We have very light volume to the downside, which is what we want to see. We're going to see, I want to see decreasing volume bounce off 53,000. I think we're going to bounce before we even move higher around 50 to 53,000. Right into this area for Bitcoin. I don't want to break this trend line. If we break this trend line, I think we're going to enter a bear market. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, consider subscribing. It helps with the channel. You can learn how to trade. You can stay up to date on cryptocurrencies. And you can find out what hot stocks I'm watching for the week and or cryptocurrencies if you guys are interested in that. So if you are interested in the crypt, me doing my hot cryptos that I'm watching for the week, let me know in the comments below because I haven't done a series like that. And it would be pretty interesting and pretty cool to uh, do a series like that. And it also would force me to look at other cryptocurrencies besides Quant, XRP, ICP, HBAR, VeChain, just the normal, the, my favorite coins. It a lot makes me out go out and uh, try to find better coins. So thank you guys so much for watching. Again, hit that subscribe button, drop a lot, drop a like, drop a comment down below, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.